In today's video, we are going to continue with part five of our card by card analysis of 1960, The Making of a President by GMT Games. Join us and learn how to play this game better here on Legendary Tactics. All right, and we are so moving we are. on with the next batch of cards. Yes, um, indeed. Here for 1960. And uh, so we're going to start right away with Eleanor Roosevelt's speaking tour. Okay. Three campaign points, gain one rest cube. And the Kennedy player may add a total of five state support in the Midwest, no more than two per. That's, yes. That's a pretty good Obviously, event. it's a great, uh, great card. Yeah. Yeah. It's a solid event for and, Kennedy. And, uh, you know, and I, I find that, yeah, I, I, I find that those ones are usually the best because there's no mention of, you know, whether a, a state's being carried. So you can just place your influence and disrupt things as much as you like. And uh, the Midwest is normally, I've, I find the Midwest in many ways is, a lot of it is actually some of the more hotly contested spaces on the entire game. Uh, in the entire yeah, game, no like agree. Yeah, you know, I yeah. I don't find other than California, there's not a lot of back and forth in the West. Um, in the East, uh, you know, again, aside from New York, you know, the the uh, big ones, we have New, Pennsylvania. New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Like there's a there's a heart of of Ooh, states yeah, there that yeah. are very closely you know uh, contested, and the South, it's I I don't know. In my experience, it Texas. seems like one player, or the other, ten, yeah, you fight over Texas. And then the rest of it is just kind of like, you know, it goes a bit back and forth, but the the Midwest typically is the yeah. hot spot of yeah, contention. There's a you lot, got a lot there's of a lot there, yeah. Yeah, and you got a lot of double digit uh state states there for, as well. You know. Actually, there's it's no, looking like all of them are double digit. Uh, yeah. They are. Wow. They are. Yeah. Now there's there's fewer of them like obviously compared to uh compared to the West, but you know, you're not going to see very much very very much uh fighting over the the dakotas, the dakotas for example for, yeah, or yeah, wyoming right. yeah, you yeah. know it's very rare it, and arguably it's a it is not worth the time for the no, uh no 100 for the democrat for yeah. kennedy to to worry about it but yeah so that this card because of the region i think it's especially powerful and what i like about it as well is it gives you florida as a um as an election day uh bonus there but florida is not you know, in the, back in 1960, Florida was worth a lot less than it is today. Yeah, and so I really, don't mind giving it up. Yeah, really, to give up, yeah, that's fine because it, for the five um, five ops you can play into the Midwest, totally. Works. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, now, I, so I this is when I would actually trigger. racking my I was racking my brain though. Is there a time? Would there be a time for Kennedy the Kennedy player not to play this event? Like, is there? Can you think of a scenario where where Kennedy wouldn't play this? I don't know. Like, no, it, I I wouldn't say no. I mean, it would be rare. I but think like this if, is if an automatic owned, event, and yeah, yeah. I, I, if he owned every single state and like, well, I don't know, carried every single state. No, maybe, you're right. Yeah, that, that, that's about but the only then, extreme scenario I could think of where you wouldn't play it. Yeah, but even then, because the Midwest is so hotly contested, getting those five extra cubes in there, I think even if you already own it it just kind of like locks it down for one card you can you can boost five states with one influence right yeah, so it yeah, yeah, it yeah. i think it's worth it even just as a reinforcement so or i, you can I like, mean I'm, yeah, i figure i'm yeah. playing this as kennedy like you know 80 90 percent of the time yeah 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 maybe even higher yeah yeah okay very good again, you have that that reinforcement aspect which i think is so useful as well yes and anytime you get you know five cubes at the sacrificing three campaign points I, exactly. or a momentum marker that's definitely my rule of thumb yeah. yep oh yes. there's a there's like a nice card there dwight eisenhower yes. and uh yes. it is a, a prevention event so the nixon player may add a yes. total of seven seven state support anywhere no more than one per state and it prevents Eisenhower's silence. Yes, and Eisenhower's silence is the one that is. Um, it's a tough event for um, for for Nixon. So this is this is a very power. I would say this is really a key card in many ways. Um, you know, I'll just uh, I'll bring up. Oh, it's actually I think the next card was Eisenhower's silence. Oh, so, perfect. Okay. So you can see here. 
um, that the, you know it's a it's a Kennedy event. The Nixon player may not spend campaign points on campaigning actions in any state being led by Kennedy for the remainder of the turn. Uh, so that that is you know a a nice you know block if if the Kennedy player can play that right at the beginning of the turn, right? Then yeah. that is going to basically mean that any state being led by Kennedy, you cannot spend campaign points on. So, you know, that's taking an entire time. So again, it's all about timing though, because if this, this Eisenhower silence comes out early on, it's not as big a deal, but if it comes out at the end, like if, if the Dwight Eisenhower event has not been played because it's been blocked by Kennedy or whatever, then this one comes out in the last turn yeah. and that can lock down the election. That could be the election right there. It could be. It could be. Yeah. 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 So these are two very important events and how and, they come uh, out is pretty, pretty key. Yes. And I think that in the game, that, the last game that we played, you got the Dwight Eisenhower card first and Eisenhower silence came out later, but it was useless um, because you got this to prevent um, Eisenhower silence. And right. so, yeah. And of course, as Nixon, you're going to take this all day long, you know, <laughs> it's seven state sport anywhere. Um, and the fact that it blocks Eisenhower's silence is huge. Yeah, yeah. So we just kind of did a two for one there, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, I, I think that... Uh, big um, states that they're, they represent the way. You got uh, yes. Pennsylvania and you have Illinois. Yes. So obviously it's... Uh, I mean, you know, ultimately, I think the, the Eisenhower silence card... Um, is powerful, but as I said, it, it depends on when it comes out. It's, yeah, it it's seems not... a little more, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm playing that on the first turn, like first play of turn one, it's eh, not, you know, if that compelling, we're, yeah, like we're looking at the there's enough other places to go that it's not that much of a you know, big a deal, a but hindrance, when, yeah, yeah. But when the map's a little more locked down, yeah, it can be a real pain, like especially you would because not want Eisenhower uh, silence to hit, and yeah, turn especially seven. because Eisenhower silence is, a, is also four CP. That's a lot of campaign points to uh, to give up for that, yes, you wouldn't yeah, necessarily want to give but that up. This is like probably, early. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Although it's interesting because if Nixon gets Eisenhower's silence in hand, it's not that big a deal. You just save it for your last card play. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. It's, it's so easily that mitigated. is very easily mitigated. But you the, you can't mitigate this as Kennedy, Dwight Eisenhower. You cannot mitigate that. It's going well, to be you only, have to spend only momentum way you markers. Can do it. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. Or or you make sure that uh, um, uh, Eisenhower. Sorry. Uh, uh, Nixon has no momentum markers to, to trigger it. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah. which uh, you, you know, again, have, this you have is, some outs. Yes, you 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 almost always want to hang on to one momentum marker just for that. For things like uh, this, you know, <laughs> yeah, for right. things like this, this is exactly yeah. why you want to. Yeah, yeah, uh, are... to use it. But yeah, but so, the, but it's a it the the Eisenhower um, you know mechanic in this game I think is re is handled really well and it's it's a neat it's very challenging for both sides. Aha, gaff. The, the gaff. Oh, another 4 <laughs> CP. Wow, we're getting some big yes. cards here tonight. This is great. So yep. opponent loses one and momentum marker and three state support in the state currently occupied by their candidate token. Yes. So, and this is neutral card as well. Texas is the uh, the election. So that you, state you can involved. always tell when it's a, a big event, when it's a, a big state a big associated state with it. Yeah. yeah. Now, the, the nice thing um, about this is it's for either side. So yes, it's not limited to, to but, one or the other, but very situational. I mean, if 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 uh, you know the, your opponent is sitting inside uh, you know a state with one support cube, and they have no momentum markers, then it really isn't useful. You know, as far as the event goes. I mean, obviously, I'll take the four CPs for sure. But um, I think this one you almost want to wait till till your opponent makes a play into a big state that they're. Um, uh, that they're trying to get, like say going into New York, right? Yes. And then yes. They're, they're in New York and they're dumping, uh, you know, cubes into New York, and then you yeah you hammer them with this. Yes, absolutely. Um, now that said, though, yeah, it just generally means you want to hang on to this towards as you know until the right timing is there. Yeah, th this um, is a big but, timing card for sure. Yes, yes, it's very situational, but 
Uh, given the fact that most turns are taken with battling it out over some of the big states um, involved, then this one is going to be good. You're just going to have to hold it as, as late as you can um, in order to make sure that you, you get the maximum impact out of that You can event. spring your trap at the right time. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, but, it's kind of I, I, I mean, it, it basically makes your opponent waste at least one turn to to reallocate the resources that this card's taking away. Yep. I, I yep. would imagine generally, right? Because it'll take you, you know, at least one card to get three more back to the state you were just you just lost them from. But yeah, it does yeah, cause them to waste time. Yeah, and 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 again, it really depends. It's great if they're in a state that's kind of overprotected. If they've got you know five cubes in there then you can play this and really, you know, hit them. And and really it forces them to respond. Um, so it, it they lose a momentum marker, but they also lose momentum in the sense that they are, they're generally speaking, going to be forced to respond to this. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's, that's important. So ideally, um, other, ideally yeah. is that when they, when they take their three state sport away, it turns out that, that you now could, would carry the state. That's your best scenario. Or you, they, they it would flip to you, yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's... where I'm. I'm <clears throat> that's where I'm. I'm actually curious because the way I read it is that they lose three state support, but I'm not sure if that includes flipping it to your side. Well, what what if it's like you know, uh, say f uh, five to four for them? Oh, well, they, well, you never have that. It. it can't yeah. flip it. You're right. Well, you're that's right. that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. actually carry it. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and remember, you don't have like five to four. It's either on your side or the other side. So. But if you lose up to three cubes, you know, again, I, I don't remember playing this a ton. Um, I know it's a gr it's a great card and I recognize it as as a potentially great, um, you know, especially Event. towards the end of a turn or towards the end of the game. Um, if they happen to be sitting in a state which is, you know, contested and you can, you know, I think actually maybe the best use of this would be on your uh, last play of a turn. This last is, play, I or the last I play of the totally... game. I could totally see you springing this on the last play of your turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because um, if you can, even if you remove the support cubes, if you control, if you have an endorsement in that region, then you can swing a state over to your side. So it could be that last last minute gaff uh, on the campaign trail and in the final turn when it, right. or, uh, you know, turn eight or whatever, when it could uh, really make an impact. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, but it's, it's situational and I, it is, it is a great event, but yeah, it's just, it just depends. You got to hang on to it in your hand until an opportunity presents itself. And if it doesn't, well, you're going to have a strong play for your final uh, card of the of the turn. That's right. Yeah. With four CP. So, okay. Very good. good. All right, next one up is Herb Klein, Herb the Klein. former newspaper editor. So this is a 3CP so, card. Yes. And the Nixon player may add a total of three issue support in any issues. Which I think is great. Any of those ones where it's, you know, you get that flexibility um, because, you know, he can you know, put three, three across all, all three, three issues, like one in each. Or can bolster, you know, one or or flip one. I, I really like this as an event because you um, could try to almost it, like own the own the whole issue mar market if you're if you can play it right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Now the way that we play is a variant. It's an official variant, but I really like it where you <clears throat> you cannot play if you choose to play to the issues. You cannot play to the issue that is on the card. So in other words. If you were to take the campaign points for for either side here, um, you can't play this card, the campaign points into civil rights. <clears throat> the way the official rules were worded is it doesn't matter. You can you can just play one cube wherever you you know three yeah, cubes across, right. or you can that's do whatever right. you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you play according to the to the uh, you know the you know the regular rules the way as and not use the variant. Then I think this card actually isn't that ne necessarily as powerful, because well, you lose you get, one of the one of the issues. Well, where it can be powerful is if you pile into one issue if you're going to use it. But to but to place three, if you're playing according to the standard rules, then placing one cube in each issue is going to. I mean, it's three campaign points anyway, so yeah, um, it's not that powerful. But if you pile into one issue where the, your opponent has some control, then that can absolutely give you a lot more 
uh, of a of a bonus. Holding. Yeah. Yeah. True. And and again, you're going to want to probably play this a little bit late uh, in the turn so that the, your opponent cannot react. Again, this would be another great late card coup. You yes. Just play, you drop this card and you own two other issues, right? Yes. Yes. It it is one that prompts response though. So if you have other plans, you can set up. You can use this one. It's going to prompt your opponent to respond typically and so you can so if you've got a, a real power play you're building towards then yeah. you can play this add to the issues and then add, when kennedy responds then you pull off your power play elsewhere on the board so what you want to actually get done yeah it's sort of like a little subterfuge yes yeah <laughs> very good yeah whoops so yeah so that is herb klein okay and our right, next one next up, up is Catholic, Catholic support, support for American CP. Catholics rally behind Kennedy because I believe Kennedy was the first uh, American president to be Catholic. I think I heard that. Yeah, yeah. So the Kennedy player may add a total of seven state support anywhere, no more than two per. Okay. Yeah, that is so, huge. Yeah, that yeah, is huge, huge. That's huge. a that's a slam dunk. You're playing yeah. that card. You're taking that event. Um, you know, again, I mean, it does uh, give you New York, um, but. Uh, uh, but as if you're Kennedy, you're going to take this event. Why wouldn't you? Seven support anywhere. Anywhere. No more than yeah. two per state. You can set up numerous plays with this, yeah. you know, various combos, whatever. Uh, yeah. And there's again, a lot of flexibility with this card. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You can play it early on in the turn to force, uh, you know, the Nixon player to scramble and try and try and counter it. Or you can play it late in the turn and, you know, solidify uh, the board uh, state. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. obviously and then i mean obviously if nixon can block the event or if kennedy's out of momentum markers the four cp are going to be very very uh handy but yeah. as nixon you know i don't know i guess if you're if you have a glut of campaign points for your last turn or whatever you know you know setting this aside for your campaign strategy uh for the um the election getting some some uh support uh checks in new york could be huge if if new yeah. york is close so well this is one that nixon is probably going to want to bury so generally yes it, yeah you're not, unless you're not letting this uh, yeah. sniff at the board <laughs> yes yeah these these are all events actually the the whole stack of them so far it are is proof positive that you should hang on to as many like you're at least one momentum marker at oh, all yeah. oh yeah oh yeah you know have one backed up oh, and i know that's dick. <laughs> that's very typically part of the game where i know you you'll play a somewhat tempting event to try and get me to spend my momentum marker on it and a lot yes. of times i'm like you've got something <laughs> else you don't want me to you know so that's kind of part of the fun is trying to lure out those uh, momentum markers yeah. and, and and deciding when you want to spring that last momentum marker you know when yes when do I actually want to play it <laughs> yes <laughs> I, I love that uh that quandary <laughs> yes it's great um tricky dick tricky dick. four campaign points and the nixon player loses one momentum marker and may immediately retrieve and play any card from the discard pile as an event oh yes that is big That's that powerful. is a big one yeah um yeah. and again these these cards are are great because i mean 1960 is different from something like you know twilight struggle or 1989 or whatever because you've got the reshuffle and it, and in this game you do not have a reshuffle nope. so if a card it's, passes it's, it's gone it's gone yeah. and you can't carry cards over turn to turn so if you get a card you get tricky dick on turn one uh great but it's not going to be anywhere near as useful as he will be Mid later late on game. in the game yeah. right yeah so yeah. it's a it's a, a great card but obviously if you get him at turn one it's going to be you're probably going to be taking the campaign points on this one now interestingly um, enough though you actually do lose a momentum marker yes it does yeah there's a bit of a cost to that there is a bit um, of a cost yeah. but very likely it's going to be well worth it <laughs> i think oh with whatever card you're retrieving yeah yeah, yeah. you're going to make it well worth yeah Yes, yeah, but uh, but yeah, but it, I, I mean, it, for Kennedy, it may be relatively painless if the discard pile is is pretty thin. Um, so I know, wonder, if it's earlier uh, on, is Nixon able to play this if they don't have a momentum marker? Yeah, that's that's interesting. It, yeah, I, just a yeah, question. I, 
that's a, a very good rules question. I'm not sure if that's been addressed in the frequently asked questions, but that's yeah, one yeah, to, yeah, I have to confirm. Maybe ask our uh, our audience out there if you know the answer to that one. Yeah, Let just put it in the then. comments. Yeah, my my assumption is that um, it doesn't say uh, you know it doesn't say must lose one. It doesn't. Yeah, say, I know, think it's uh, if, available if available. Is how I read that. Yeah, that's what I because, assumed, but it doesn't say that per exact. So yeah, anyway. the wording the wording I would expect uh, if it were otherwise is the Nixon player loses one momentum marker in order to immediately retrieve and play. Ah, uh, yes. Or so or, yeah. the fact that it says and, you know, yeah. I I mean it's funny because there's room in this event text they could have put in brackets if available or something, and they could have fit right, it right. still on the card. Or it wasn't that jam packed. Right? Yeah. yeah, or must yeah. play, yes. But I, I would say, or, yeah, the Nixon player must lose one momentum marker in order to immediately retrieve and play any card. That's how I would read it. And maybe it, I, I'm just mandatory. being nitpicky and, and I don't know. But I, I, but I just thought, you know, it, it, it leaves room for the question anyway. So It is a little bit ambiguous, yeah. 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 Um, and that one has Illinois as the, uh, as the um, for the, the final campaign strategy phase. So that's interesting. Yeah. All right, yeah. campaign headquarters. Finally, a two campaign point, yeah, two rescue the... card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so a player may discard any number of cards from their hand and draw the same number of replacement cards from the campaign deck. Yes. This is an interesting card, actually, an interesting event. Yep. A little situational, I think. You oh, very to, situational. You have to spend a turn to do it. Exactly. That was my. That was exactly what I was going to say. Because you have to spend a whole turn to drop your hand, and that and and it may you may end up depending on your hand you may pick up something that's the same or worse, <laughs> you know it's a bit of a of a it's a crapshoot it's a crapshoot yeah. Now the thing is, if you're sitting with your with a mitt full of your opponent's cards, there's no question you're playing this event. Oh yes, you are counting your blessings that you picked this yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. And especially some of the ones we just reviewed. Like if you have some of those events, yeah. you <laughs> yes. want to discard those. And that, Get rid of them. That's a saving yeah. grace. <laughs> yes, but if you if you have a mixed hand, or if you have a, a you know, if let's say, what would you do if you had, let's say, you know, two two uh, opponent events, but they were they were um marginal yeah, but they were bad like oh, they, they were, were bad yeah. yeah would you spend a whole turn to get rid of them and possibly draw some worse cards or just yeah possibly yeah yeah two is tough i think three for sure yeah i would do i'm it just wondering three. where the tipping point is i think i think it's three for me because two two or two i'm on the fence with it, it, depending on how bad they were yeah and yeah. if there was nothing else i could do to mitigate yeah but you also have to give up a turn as well so yeah, I mean, obviously, if you have any, like, terrible, terrible events in hand. <laughs> Would there amazing. ever be a situation where you actually dumped one of your own events because it just, like, it just was so useless or so... Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah just yeah. on the off chance, depending on how the game's going. Um, you know, if I, if I feel that it would be, it's worth the risk to, like, if it's a two campaign point card and it doesn't and it do anything nothing to, for the me. The event is like nothing to do with what you need done. And yeah, I'll, I'll roll the dice. I mean, you know, it, it may be worth it. It may not be, it may make it worse, but, um, but it depends on the, bo on the board situation. It's part of gaming. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I would say very situational could be amazing, could be absolutely worthless. And it's only two campaign points, you know in compensation yeah. Yeah, so. yeah exactly yeah kennedy's peace corps three campaign points and gain a rest cube and for the remainder of the turn the kennedy player may preempt events when playing cards without needing to expend momentum markers to do so yeah that's a that's a it, it sounds very powerful off the hop but again you have to spend a turn to do it and if you depending on the events you have in hand you may you may not need, need to, to do, do that or you know or the the you know yeah it's it's all about weighing the the the, the point in the game where you where you're at um i don't know if it, would you say this matters more early or late probably it's about the same no because it's events way. yeah i would say i would say it doesn't really matter yeah it's just As really much. how how good or bad your hand is um, I think it's much more, yeah, dependent on that because if your hand is, if you're sitting with all kinds of bad events that you, yeah, then you want to preempt them. Yes, yeah. So that that one I could see being, you know, fairly it's useful. It's actually in some ways similar to the previous card we just looked at. It is, it is, yeah. And really probably a lot of the same kind of 
recommendations apply in the sense that, you know, in, in some ways, though, I, I think I like Kennedy's Peace Corps a little bit better, mainly because you, you're working with a known quantity. So, you know, when you're when you play this card, you already know the events that you're looking to preempt. And you know yeah. how many ops there, like, or sorry, yeah, campaign points they have, and so you. Whereas with with the previous campaign headquarters card, it's kind of like you're swapping them, but there's no guarantee that your hand is going to be any better from that from taking that event. It's you're rolling the dice that it will be better, but you don't know. Yeah, Kennedy's but this one you can actually more, look. Yeah, and it's more secured because you can actually the events will not happen. Whereas with the other one, yes. when you draw new cards you still could potentially be having to mitigate <laughs> events, yes. right? Yes, yes. And I think that's why campaign headquarters is worth two campaign points and Kennedy Kennedy's Peace Corps is worth three campaign points. Being a I bit of a, river, a riverboat gambler, I kind of like that first card better because I like to just Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> you love let's that. Let's roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> roll the dice, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> All, All right, right, and the last card for today is Henry, Henry Lush. Lush. Luce, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, only so. two CP. And the Kennedy player may uh, place one endorsement marker in any region. Eh. Well, you know what? Endorsements are, are great. Um, as long as it's a hotly contested region. Yeah. I mean, I like it. To be honest, I'm, I would be very inclined to take this event in most cases. Really? It eh? is a good long-term play well think of it like if you have an endorsement and you know let's say you put it in the midwest right so okay, you, yep. you grab your your endorsement there and uh you you put it in the midwest let's see here so that means that all you have to do now as long as that endorsement's in play is you just have to get the states to neutral and then you yes and yes, then okay. they flip to you so you know where that can be you know, powerful even in the West sometimes if the if the states are, are empty for whatever reason. Like you can even though it's not worth visiting, you know, Montana or Idaho or whatever, you know, the if you've got an endorsement, hey, why not steal those all those points? You know, eight, you know, uh, you know, why not why not grab the fourteen, twenty three, in this case, uh, you know, twenty seven, and then you've got Hawaii and uh you know, she got 33 electoral votes that could be swayed by that single endorsement marker. Yeah, I so, suppose you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I have no, I would much rather, even if it ends up that in the game that everyone, you know, there's support cubes on every state, having the endorsement marker represents pressure on the opponent to, you got to keep your su support cubes down. Um, otherwise, you're going to lose that, you know, that region. So. And going through with a card like, say, Whistle Stop, where you can just go ping, 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 yes. take them all off, right? Yeah. And then all yeah. of a sudden, if you have if you carry the state, all you need to do is keep it neutral. Yeah, all you need to do is keep it neutral. So it and your opponent is most likely not going to be going to, like, North and South Dakota for, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, right? They're <laughs> to not going to go back. one token on them, yeah. Yeah, they're not going to go back. So, so you know, again, like, I think something like this, like, at the cost of only two campaign points, I'm probably going to take that endorsement marker unless I've got a real pressing need for those uh, campaign points. Do you, because, uh, is it draw, do you just draw one? I guess you could draw one, right? Just Because there's there's major and minor endorsements. No, 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 there's just endorsements that you you play well on the cards it it's it has like endorsement in the west or endorsement in the oh east. that's what it is yeah or a major endorsement is is where you place wherever well this is basically uh, like a, a major, major endorsement that's what i was sorry yeah yeah you're right yeah okay. so so you're you're basically just get it's it's the equivalent it's of a, a major a, endorsement major endorsement without having to draw a card and and without having to control any issues and without and and again i just see the the main obviously it puts the pressure on the opponent, but it also saves you campaign points because again, you don't need. So if I'm waltzing through as Kennedy, if I'm coming into the Midwest here and I've got that endorsement, I only need to spend one, two, three campaign points to flip the entire region to my side. That's right. Right. But That's if, right. Yeah. if, if you, if there's your endorsement there, then I have to go and spend one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, to get the region. 
Right. So that's substantial. So it can be substantial. Again, it does depend on the, the board layout. But in general, um, I, I love endorsements because it just puts the pressure on. Um, yeah. That's a really you know, good point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, sh- I should say there are some states here that are already leaning towards Kennedy, like Illinois. And, and so my, my math isn't exactly correct there. But you get my point, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to cost you a lot, lot more CP to, to actually get, get it exactly. done. Exactly. Like if you just flip, it, like just for my example here, if you just kind of do this, you know, <laughs> suddenly that endorsement becomes very, very useful. Um, right. Right. Yes. Because... You know, you just have to you just have to clear out the these three cubes, and you can, especially as like a final play or something towards the end of the game. Um, man, that could be massive. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, that could really flip a lot of a lot of states. Yeah. And so I think in general, like any chance you can get endorsements in there is is a good. It's a good time it to take it. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Did you have any other thoughts on on that one? No, though, no, that was good. I just wanted to see the state it represented. Was that West Virginia? Yeah, West Virginia. Okay, so yes. nothing. I, yeah, nothing too. Uh, uh, yeah. Too attractive. Eight. Nothing too. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think the endorsement is potentially more valuable than than, than West than, Virginia. Than, yeah, putting it away. In, yeah, possibly. Know, support yeah. checks in West Virginia. But yeah. you know what? Hey, if I'm if I'm Nixon, then that's what I'll. That's that's an easy choice, right? <laughs> as oh, far yeah. as that goes because yeah. west virginia is already leaning towards uh kennedy anyway so now would um, would if you were kennedy would you trigger this event yes yeah i think so unless i've got a momentum marker oh yeah uh it's still pretty cheap at the cost of a momentum marker because other in order to get endorsements you have to control one of the first two issues so either, this is great. You know, I, I'm gleaning so much information from you from these that I next time we play. I know you're gonna dominate. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have all these. Listen, <laughs> this all full of crappy secrets. hands for you, and then I'm gonna drop this one down, and you're gonna play it, and then you'll have no momentum markers. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. Or no. <laughs> well, all those decisions are of course situational, but I mean, it's still not a bad. Uh, it's still not a bad price to pay, like a momentum marker, because otherwise you'd have to. Uh, spend money on issues and win the issues and then take the the endorsement and then it's still a random draw for the endorsement card right because you true. could true. you could get endorsement in the west and you don't need an endorsement in the west right no. so yeah, being yeah, able yeah. to control where that turns up is a good it's, uh it's is a, a good, good bang thing. yep yeah i think it's fine um but yes it, it it might be one of those ones where you tempt uh the the opposing player the kennedy player into Drawing to be, out a, to spending biting, a momentum marker. Biting on yes, it with their, with sure. their last marker. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, anyway. All right. Anyway, great, uh, thank you so much for watching. We hope you got uh, some some value out of this. Yeah, and don't, if, if you have any of your own comments, don't please uh, feel free to add them below. We'd love to hear what uh, your feedback is on these cards. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Yes. They, uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you here next time for the next uh, 10 cards that we'll go through uh, and uh, strategize with here in 1960, The Making of a President. Uh, I'm NATO. I'm Cax. And this has been Legendary Tactics. Legendary Tactics.